today's video, we are going to look at using a Python uh, library called LXML. And we're going to use XPath by itself to actually scrape some data from the internet and create a sensor. And that sensor is going to be a sensor on Home Assistant. So one piece of warning is please don't use this for any illegal purposes. Um, I'm not going to elaborate on that. Um, so this particular person contacted me saying that they wanted um, to access this particular website. So this particular website gives them information on which side of the street you need to park in order uh, for the city to clean the snow on one side or the other, depending on what kind of day it is. So basically, once you access this website, you can actually see that uh, on this particular day, you park on this side of the road or you park on the other side of the road. So all we want from this website is just this information. That is, are you on this side that is even or odd? So what we're going to do is we're going to access this information. So for that, we're going to, um, for that, we're going to look at this particular website. So on this website, you just see, uh, open it in Chrome. You find um, the information over here. Um, so what you have to do is right click and say inspect or hit control shift I. So over here, what you can find is that um, this particular information is inside a div class called clearfix. And then it is inside another um, HTML tag called strong. So basically, let's go and find all these clear fixes over here. So what we can do is then um, search for this. So basically here, it's right over here. Um, so you can filter for all clear div.clearfix. Um, so what we find is that this particular website only has one um, div with a clear fix tab. And inside that we have our strong. So basically we want to extract this information. So let's go back and see how we can do this. For this, we're going to use uh, libxml or lxml inside Python. So it is a wrapper around libxml2 and libxslt. So here, this is very well documented. So that's why we want, we want to use this. So you can install it in two ways. You can either do pip3 install libxml. Um, if you have a virtual environment, you want to go into that and uh, enter this particular command. Or you can install overall inside all your Python installations by typing in sudo apt get install python3 hyphen libxml. So it also installs the dependent libraries when you do this. So let's see what we are going to do in libxml. So first inside, so open a Python script. The first you want to um, import libxml.html. And then um, you parse this HTML. That is, you give the uh, website into this particular parsing um, function of libxml. And we're going to store it inside root. So in our case, um, next we want to do is uh, access the div class of clearfix. And then we want to get the strong, um, the, the whatever the text is between the strong. So basically, let's get this even out. For that, all we are going to do is type in root.xpath double slash dev at class equal to clearfix. So basically, it's going to find all classes that have um, clearfix name to it. And then it's going to look for the strong tag, and then it's going to extract all the text associated inside the strong. And we just need the first occurrence of that, and then we get this particular value. And then um, here, this is your clear fix, it's your strong, and that's your text, and then you print this. Um, so basically, the, this uh, script only contains four lines. You load the library, parse the HTML, get what you want to get out of it, and then you just print it out. So when you run this, uh, when you say Python 3, this particular .py, you get odd or even depending on what the website says. So basically, the days that are odd, you're going to get odds. And when you have the days that are even, you're going to get even. So what we are going to do next is then create a sensor in your Home Assistant. So Home Assistant uh, command line platform is what we're going to use as a sensor. And here as a command, you just type in Python and the um, 
the path of this particular Python script. And scan interval is 21600. This is in seconds. So this accounts for every six hours. So this means that you're going to run this script every six hours, and this guy keeps on updating. And as you can see, um, as the day changes, the website uh, updates this particular information. And this can be had as a sensor. Basically, you can create automation after you get these information on your phone when you have home assistant installed on your phone uh, so basically what you can do is get kind of information on which side of the road you need to park to be um, so that your car doesn't get towed and uh, the snow gets cleared in your area but this is just one example and you can use this for various other information